It's January 2018, and we're back with another Legion of Collectors box from Funko. This month's shipment is all about the Teen Titans, so put away your brightly colored bird vestments, slip into your disco duds, and join me as we take a trip down Amnesia Lane with everyone's other favorite super team. First up, we have a Legion of Collectors staple, the Patch. It's not made of molybdenum, but it seems sturdy enough. This iron-on cyborg badge may not be as versatile as the real Victor Stone, but it's almost as handsome, and anyone that wears it will be too. We haven't seen a comic in one of these boxes since July, but Funko makes up for it with a reprint of the original New Teen Titans number one. It sports a handsome variant cover by Phil Jimenez and Rom Fajardo, and the inside has all of the Dick Grayson beefcake and freak punching that it should. Each Teen Titans box comes with two of four possible action figures. While I'm disappointed that I didn't get Cyborg, Funko teases that there might be a chance to complete the set soon, so at least I have hope. Anyway, Disco Dick Grayson and Starfire are a natural pairing, and they look just like they do in the comics, from Dick's detailed original Nightwing costume to Starfire's square millimeter of fake plastic clothing. Up next, we have one of two possible Beast Boy tees. I love how mine shows the transition from Beast back to Boy across several images, and it concludes with Gar back in his regular form with a charming wink. Last, but certainly not least, is the pop that we've all been waiting for. Nightwing in his classic, high-collar, neck-plungy bird dance outfit. There's really nothing more I can say, so just look at him and soak in all the majesty. That's it for another great box. If I have one minor gripe, it's that new Teen Titans number one, while nice, creates a bit of dissonance here. Beast Boy was still calling himself Changeling, and Dick was still Robin. Not a huge deal, but a bit strange nevertheless. Anyway, come back and join us in March when the Legion of Collectors heads for the stars with the Green Lantern Corps. Until then, I'll be Brian Warshaw. See you next time.